Uh, when did you first hear about the shooting, and uh, when did you hear from Nathan? Well, I, I heard about the shooting. Um, actually, I was looking at a news channel, and there was it said something about a shooting at Fort Hood, and that's where my son is stationed. And so I immediately called him, and he picked up right away, which was a good thing. I just, I just needed to hear his voice. And he said he was okay, but that he was being treated for, yeah, for a gunshot wound, so. <laughs> and what went through your mind then? I was like, I heard his voice. That was, that was good news. And then it was like, there are other families who, who you know, weren't so lucky. I mean, as bizarre as that sounds, it, they weren't as lucky as, as Nathan. What did Nathan tell you? What, what happened? What did he say? He's, he was at the, um, the center. They were preparing to be deployed to Afghanistan. And um, he said the doors flew open and it just, it was chaotic. And so he was going out the, another exit. And when he was leaving, that's when he was shot. All right, and I've heard stories that he was helping some other people. I have. You know, I, I don't know. I don't know exactly what happened. I've, um, you know, I've talked with his uncles and, and you know, they, they spoke with him a bit more in length. I think sometimes they'll, they'll talk to other guys. <laughs> don't, don't want to upset my, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, so you've talked to him lately. How's his spirits? How's he getting He on? sounds good. He sounds, he sounds real good. So that's a relief. <laughs> and uh, he's getting out of the hospital this afternoon. Yes, yes. And um, I, you know, I, I you know, I, I don't know. I think it was probably precaution. He said he felt fine last night, but you know, I'm kind of glad they kept him overnight. <laughs> what did he say about his wounds? What did he say about? He that? said they weren't life threatening. He said they hurt, <laughs> yeah. but you know, that's. So he got shot in the calf. Mm -hmm. And grazed on his thigh. Did you say what they were doing right before this all happened? They were getting, they were at uh, one of the centers getting ready. They were preparing to be deployed to Afghanistan because he was scheduled to be deployed in January. So they were getting shots and preparing other things. So what would you want people to know of all this? You, know, you said you wanted to get a message out. What was that? Well, you know, of course, we're thinking about the other families, like I said earlier, that weren't so lucky. and. Um, you know, we're very proud of Nathan. He, he made a, a commitment to serve and he's honoring that. So he's our hero. You know, and, and the community has just been wonderful. Um, the messages and, you know, I want to thank them for keeping us in their thoughts and their prayers. Uh, did Nathan know any of the people that may have been killed or injured? You know, I didn't get to talk to him that much about it. And like I said before, I'm glad I got to talk to him. You know, and I'm very proud of him for his commitment and to honor his obligations. Uh, tell me a little bit about Nathan. He graduated from Jeff? Right. Uh, yes, in 2000. Did he do Jeff? Was he in any sports or teams? No, or no. He actually, um, he, he took uh, tech classes. Um, he He's a mechanic. And things just seemed to make more sense when he was taking the tech classes and working as a mechanic, and actually that's what his job is. He's a tank mechanic. So about a year after graduation, he joined the Army? No, he joined right out of, he didn't leave um, until about six or seven months later. He, he graduated in May, he actually left in January of 2001 and joined 